So the first thing that we need to do, um, if you do not have the Kingstubers app on your phone already, we'll need to download it. So we'll do that by going to either the App Store on an iPhone or the Google Play Store on an Android phone. If you're in the App Store, you want to make sure that you have the Search tab selected um, in that bottom menu of tabs. Um, the Google Play Store should have a um, search bar right at the top um, as soon as you open it. So in that search bar, I'm just going to type in King Supers. Um, it might come up as a suggestion, so I'm going to go ahead and tap that. Um, I've had the King Supers app downloaded on my phone before, so for me, I have this little cloud icon. Um, if I've never downloaded it before, it would be a button that says Get. Um, it is a free app, so you should, will not have to pay anything to download this app. Um, I'm going to go ahead and click on this cloud icon. Um, depending on what your phone settings are, you may need to enter your Apple ID password um, or your Google your Google account password um, or some other feature depending on your phone, like a fingerprint verification or a face ID verification. All right, so that now that says open. If I go back to my home screen, I will see that that app is now on my home screen. The next thing that we'll need to do is set up our King Supers account. I'm going to go ahead and open up that app and you'll meet, met, be met with um, options for either signing in or creating an account. Um, so throughout the pandemic, if you ever use the King Supers website to order groceries or deliver groceries, um, you already do have a King Supers account set up. So you'll want to choose that sign in option um, and enter the email and password that you use to set that up. Um, if you are new to the King Supers app um, and all online King Supers platforms, you'll want to choose that create an account option. Um, First, it will ask if you would like to share your location with the King Supers app. Um, I recommend doing this if you ever plan on um, ordering delivery or ordering curbside pickup. This will help King Supers or the King Supers app find whichever store is closest to you. Um, if you do not want the app to share, to know your location, um, it will ask you to enter your postal code. Um, so this way, it will not be tracking your exact location, but you will. Um, be getting deals that are um, regionally specific to you. Um, I do use curbside, curbside pickup every now and then, so I choose to share my location. Um, and then on an iPhone, you can choose while using app, don't allow or allow once. So here you will fill out um, your information. So first name, last name, email address, you'll be creating a password. Um, if you already have a King Supers card, you will be putting that number into this field here. Um, and then you can kind of set up some of your preferences. So um, sending you deals. So if you would like to receive um, like email offers, um, letting them know or letting you know um, when there are certain sales going on um, and whether or not you would like King Supers to track your purchase history um, and be able to advertise your deals in that way. Um, I, I prefer not to, so I select unselect those, um, and then once you get to the bottom here, you will select um, the I agree to King Supers conditions and privacy policy, and then you'll select that create an account. One more thing I would like to mention about creating an account. So for this field that says um, Supercard or Alt ID, um, if you already have a King Supers card, you will absolutely want to put either the number under the barcode there um, or the telephone number that you use at the store. If you do not enter those and you leave this field blank, it will create a new King Supers ID for you um, and therefore disconnecting your King Supers account from that card or the phone number that you enter into King Super at King Supers currently. So um, just be be careful of that. Um, you don't want to create an account number that does not match your current account. So this is the home screen of the King Supers app. Um, frankly, I think the design of this app is a little bit busy and so it can be a little overwhelming and a little confusing once you're getting started. It is definitely designed more as a shopping app, um, so for creating orders for delivery or pickup, but today I really want to focus on some ways to help you save money in the store. 
Um, saving money in the store is also why I am focusing on the mobile app version of the Kingsupers online platform rather than using a website um, because there are benefits to being able to access Kingsupers resources online while you are in the store. Um, the first thing I'm going to go over is how to go through the weekly ad. Um, so this will be redundant if you get the physical paper ads still. Um, I personally do not. So I like to use my phone to access weekly ads. Um, and this will help me know what is on sale at any given week when I'm writing my grocery list. So along the bottom, we have a tab menu. The second one is going to be our weekly ad. So there are two ways to look at all of the items on the weekly ad. The first will be um, kind of a replica of the weekly ad that you receive in the mail. So you can scroll through, you can zoom in. Um, so if you tap on an item, um, the kind of fine print will show up at the bottom here. Or if I use two fingers to pinch and zoom, um, I'll also have access to that fine print, which is something that I think is really important to pay attention to when looking at ads, so I'm not disappointed when I get to the store. Um, kind of where um, having your phone accessible while you are in the store is important um, is going to be the section of weekly digital deals. So these, if I scroll into kind of that fine print, it says that this ground beef is $2.49 per pound, but um, it's only with card and digital coupon. So what I need to be able to do is make sure that I have quote unquote clipped this coupon so that when I scan my card um, at the checkout, um, I will get the sale price. So we'll be going over how to access those coupons next. So I'm gonna make note of that ground beef as the coupon that I would like to clip when I get two coupons. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and click back. I also would like to um, just to note for everybody that if viewing this really colorful designed ad is a little overwhelming for you, if I scroll down on this page, I do have access to kind of a, um, a list version of the ad. So everything is organized by um, department. So bakery, beverages, um, and then it's all listed alphabetically. So if you're looking to see if something specific is on sale, this might be a little bit faster for you. Um, or if you are um, just kind of visually overwhelmed by the designed ad, this also could be a good option for you. So in addition to looking at sales in the weekly ads, another great way to save money with shopping at King Supers is making sure to pay attention to coupons. So coupons are going to come in two forms from King Supers. Um, so those will live under the savings tab. Um, you will be getting um, some little tutorials that pop up if it's the first time using the app. Um, so there are coupons, which are traditional coupons that will give you um, a sale price. Um, there are also cash back coupons. So if you have these clipped um, and buy any of the products that are um, listed in this section of the King Supers coupons, um, these will work in the sense that you will pay the normal price for this item, but a specified amount will be put onto your King Supers card to be applied to your next purchase. I'm gonna go over um, coupons first. So to view all of the coupons, um, I have a couple options. I can scroll across in this view. Um, I find this is a little bit overwhelming. Plus, if I go to this all view all coupons tab, um, it will give me um, some better ways to sort through the coupons. So you can see at the top under or where it says all coupons, there are a total of 424 coupons available at King Supers right now. Um, I love to think about food. I meal plan like crazy. Um, I take the time to look at weekly ads every week, um, but even looking through 424 coupons each week is a really big time commitment that I'm not willing to make. Um, so when it comes to looking for specific coupons, there is a search bar. So, so remember that ground beef that we saw on the weekly ad? Um, if I just search for ground beef, 
it will come up even before I'm done typing in ground beef. All I'll need to do is select clip and what that will do is it will add this discount to my King Supers card. So when I scan my King Supers card or type in my phone number, when I am checking out King Supers, um, it will reduce the regular price down to this $249 sale price. And that's, that's as simple as it is. Um, so the coupons are not hard to use. Um, there are just a lot of them. So it can feel a little bit overwhelming. I'm gonna go back to my savings tab go back to view all coupons. Um, if you do want to be able to look through the coupons without feeling quite as overwhelmed, there is this browse tab at the top um, and you can view specific um, categories of coupons so that you um, are not being bombarded with 400. So if I go to the best value, um, I can look and there's only gonna be 20 that I need to look through. So. Um, I can feel confident that I am seeing some of the best deals. Um, and then as you clip your coupons, if you need a reminder for when you go back to write your grocery list, if you click on that clipped option, um, it will show you all of the deals that you were interested in as you were looking through the ad or the coupons earlier. So again, those cash back ones function the same way um, on your phone. Um, it's just instead of a discount price, you have um, cash that is available um, on your King Supers card for your next purchase. So if you go to view all deals, um, you have a little bit less flexibility. There's not a search function in here um, and you don't have the browse function, um, but it would be the same thing where if say I'm interested um, in this nut butter here, if I click on that get cash back, if I buy that um, item when I go to King Supers next time, 50 cents will be available to apply to my following purchase with my King Supers card. So you may have noticed that some of the coupons that we saw were related to fuel points. So one large advantage of shopping with your King Supers card at King Supers, especially right now, um, is having access to discounted prices on gas. Um, so as you shop, um, you can accumulate fuel points and you can track those in the app under your home screen. And then in the top corner, you'll have these three horizontal bars that will take you to your menu. Under rewards and fuel points, you can track how many fuel points you are earning. So you earn one fuel point for every $1 you spend. You can redeem at participating fuel centers, so the King Supers gas stations, and then you save 10 cents per gallon for every 100 fuel points you redeem. And so as you can see, um, I accumulated 127 points in May um, that are expiring in four days, so I should probably use those. Um, and then so far in June, I have accumulated 73 points. Um, so I can track those here. Um, and that is just a nice bonus of shopping with King Supers. Um, and so some coupons exist where you earn one fuel point for every $1 you spend. Um, there was a coupon I think last week, um, where if you shopped over the weekend and used your King Supers card and had that coupon clipped, um, you earned double the fuel points. So instead of earning one point for every dollar you spend, you earned two points for every dollar you spend, um, which can absolutely add up at the grocery store. So uh, make sure to pay attention to your fuel points as well as coupons that relate to fuel points. The last thing that I want to go over today is making sure that you know how to access your account settings. Um, so from, again, from that home tab, in those three horizontal bars, about halfway down the screen, there's going to be that group that says my info. Um, under my account is going to be where a lot of your information is. Um, so this will give you things like purchase history, um, access to your profile where you can update your personal information, um, your sign-in information. So if you ever need to change your password, that's where this lives. Um, I've actually never used the address book feature. Um, so you can explore it if you would like to, but um, it honestly doesn't seem like something that has a lot of um, applicable functionality. Um, wallet, um, so if you, especially if you do a lot of online orders for curbside or for delivery, um, wallet is where you can manage your payment information. Um, so under preferences, this will give you options um, 
to change how King Supers communicates with you. Um, so if when setting up your account, um, you decided that you did or did not want email notifications about sales and deals and things like that, um, and have since changed your mind about how you would like to be contacted, this is where you can update that. You can also sign up for text message updates. Um, if that is a way that you would like to be contacted, um, especially if you are doing uh, or taking advantage of, of services like curbside pickup, they can send you text messages about the status of your order and things like that. Um, so that is oh, one more thing. Um, and then if you ever need to sign out of your account, that is going to be under my account and then it'll be in the top corner. Um, that is about all I have for the King Supers app um, and helping you save money using it. Um, it definitely takes a little bit more work, um, but hopefully, hopefully this has been helpful for you navigating this app.